Well, it seems the Denver Broncos are searching for a new head coach. They sure are. Our team ownership fired Nathaniel Hackett this morning after an embarrassing 51 to 14 Christmas Day loss to the LA Rams. Hackett was hired almost exactly 11 months ago. Now he only lasted 15 games and leaves with a 4 and 11 record. Now Hackett's only the fifth NFL coach ever to be fired before the end of his first season. And the Broncos new head coach will be their fifth since Super Bowl 50. Denver 7 Sports Director Lionel Bienvenu joins us now. Lionel, you sound like um, the Broncos feel right now. So much disappointment in this season. And I think this was this was inevitable. This is only a matter of time before Hackett would go. Yeah, I got the sickness today, guys. Um, Broncos country's been sick for months. But yeah, there was no surviving this disaster of a season. We thought the new owners might wait until it was over, then kind of assess the damage and make moves to clean it up. But then yesterday happened, as you said, one of the most embarrassing losses in Broncos history, 51-14 blowout to the Rams. And when Patrick from SpongeBob was on the national Nickelodeon broadcast mocking Russell Wilson and the Broncos, that was the last straw. Uh, Hacker was brought in full of energy and excitement and enthusiasm, offensive coordinator in Green Bay. He's brought in to turn around the broken offense with no quarterback. Then GM George Payton hired him, made the trade for Russell Wilson. Optimism was off the charts, but it became clear early on Hackett did not know what it took to be a head coach to run an entire team. And with the shocking decline of Wilson, this train came off the tracks quickly. If they could fire Russell too, they probably would, but they're stuck with that. So the Broncos named Jerry Rossberg as the interim coach. They offered the job to defensive coordinator Ejiro Avero first, but he said, no thanks. <laughs> Rossberg will lead the team the last two games. He was brought in as a consultant early in the season to help Hackett manage the game. He was a coach to coach the coach. He's a former assistant head coach and special teams coordinator for the Ravens and Browns. This statement from CEO and owner Greg Penner today, quote, I will lead our head coaching search with support from our ownership group and George Payton, whom I have confidence in as our general manager. As we begin the process of selecting our next head coach, we remain focused on playing competitive football to finish the season on a positive note. So, Penner, I will hire the next head coach. No one else. Peyton's future? That's not certain either. He hired Hackett. He made the Wilson trade. He signed Randy Gregory, Melvin Gordon, all that and more. Penner may start over from the ground up because just hiring a new head coach is not going to fix this. It goes much deeper than that. The Broncos, unfortunately, may not see the light for a couple of more years. All right, thanks for hanging in there. Go get some tea, Lionel. Thanks a lot. And Broncos country has made it known. They've been unhappy with Hackett and the Broncos all season long. They've called into our Broncos voicemail hotline so many times. So would you like to hear what they're saying today? Well, we got what we wanted. Now go out and get Sean Payton. He's the only guy that knows how to do game management. And if they don't get that one, might as well just fold the Broncos up and find another town for them. Bye. Living in Colorado, you always have to hear about the Broncos. And today, Monday, was probably a blessing in disguise after the massacre in L.A. I was at the game from California, and this is the worst season that I've endured as a Broncos fan. Yeah, so we expect to hear from Broncos owner and CEO Greg Penner and GM George Payton tomorrow morning. And you can read all about Hackett's firing and see the full statement from the Broncos. We have all that up right now on Denver7.com.